Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and today we have One UI 8 Beta 2 on the S25 Ultra to show you each and every new change so without further ado let's jump in. Let's start with uh, build number as you see it ends in ZYF3 and I side loaded this build so I'm not sure about the size when you receive the OTA update and then we have the june 2025 security patch and now let's take a look at the new features the first change i noticed after restarting the phone is the widgets are now back to the normal size on the left you will see a screenshot from beta one showing how bigger they was when compared to the stable version but now after beta 2 it matches exactly the stable version here on my s24 ultra the second change is when i tap on the live notifications now i'm getting a longer haptic feedback in beta one it was exactly the same as the stable version but now i have different feedbacks from both versions here it's just a small tick while now it makes a longer vibration another change in the quick settings you will see here on the left on beta 2 the brightness slider device control and the media output are thicker than before while in beta 1 they were exactly matching and the notification banners are also thicker on one ui 8 beta 2. moving to the share sheet there are a couple of new changes so let me try to share some photos from my gallery so when i highlight these photos and then tap on share look at this new animation that take place bringing all the selections together from the sides and how the share sheet animates now and when i do the same from a third party app like google photos i also found some minor visual tweaks like the modify button has a bolder outline around it to be more visible and here on the left you will see a screenshot from beta one using the same exact share sheet and also the separators are more visible now let me show you some new changes under settings and when you scroll all the way down you will see that the user guide option is now called tips and user guide and for reference here is the stable version and this is something i never mentioned before and when you go inside and instead of going to a web page like before now you have an app that will have, will actually give you tips on how to use your phone with uh, a dedicated banner at the top for galaxy ai and this is how it looks it will list for you all the galaxy ai features and you can also know more about what's new in one ui 8 so let's go through this when i go to the what's new in one ui 8 we have two new additions the first one is the ability to share your opinions and feedback in the samsung members one ui beta community to help samsung make the software better and the second one is the easier access to the galaxy buds settings when you connect a galaxy buds you will see a new menu item added front and center in the settings page which will allow you to adjust everything and instead of opening the galaxy wearable app and when you go through the new tips app you will see that everything is much easier to understand thanks to the visual guides and the text written underneath it so it's much better than the web-based version i also spotted one more change under connected devices and then samsung decks now the menu got updated with much better design and on the left you will see how it used to look in beta one i tested decks on an external display and i didn't spot any new changes but the menu just looks better there is also one more change related to the animations that i never mentioned before but this new change is also available on beta one not specific to beta two but when you take a look here at the app opening animation you will notice that one ui 8 is slower than one ui 7 so take a look at the corners of the app when i tap on it you will see that one ui 8 takes a split second longer to fully show the app especially when you look at the corners before jumping to the next chapter if you like any of the wallpapers you see in this video they are now available in the wallpapers by in-depth tech reviews app and here are the latest additions i tried all of them throughout this video to give you an idea about what you're gonna get and you'll find the google play store download link in the description and as i mentioned before 
very soon you will get the ability to download these wallpapers locally on device to be able to apply whatever effects you want. Back to One UI 8 Beta 2 and this build is more of a bug fixes than new features. So let's go through them one by one. Here I have a screenshot from Sam Mobile and we have here a lot of fixes. The first one is a fix for the now brief text alignment issue and the morning briefing screen persisting issue. Improved battery widget icon, fixed the issue with widget size on lock screen increasing and this is the thing i mentioned at the beginning of the video that the widgets are back to their normal size then we have a fix for an intermittent intermittent fingerprint recognition screen failure and recognition errors fixed intermittent fingerprint unlock errors and file movement malfunctions in secure folder fixed the issue with volume being lowered when making a bluetooth call in a vehicle fixed the issue where no sound is heard when notification arrives during the game, fixed non-functioning errors in Galaxy AI weather and time wallpapers, fixed the issue of not being able to go back when gesture recognition is enabled, fixed the issue of air command icon disappearing when S Pen is detached, fixed the issue of the alarm sound not ringing, when the clock app is not updated after the beta update software stabilization through updates to many apps including camera app and some other improvements as well and as per this screenshot the update size is about 1.2 gigabytes moving to the performance i have to say that this build is much better than beta 1 i didn't see any ui issues or glitches while opening and closing apps to film this video everything worked flawlessly so if you are rocking beta 1 you definitely need to update to beta 2 because it feels overall so much better and i don't spot any bug while filming this video if you are curious about the geekbench scores i just did one now and i'm getting 9300 for the multi-core and the 2900 for the single core which is not far behind what I got on the stable version in Feb 2025 and this is the only history I have. When it comes to the battery I don't have anything to say it's very early to assess because I just installed this build on the S25 Ultra and immediately started filming this video. By this I mentioned all the new features in One UI 8 Beta 2 and please let me know in the comments if I missed anything but for now thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.